Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about distance rate time word problems. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. Perry left school driving toward the lake one hour before JD. JD drove in the opposite direction, going six miles per hour slower than Perry for one hour after which time they were 174 miles apart. What was Perry's speed? This is a tricky one. So I'm gonna break this down into two distance rate time equations. Distance of Perry is equal to the rate of Perry times the time of Perry. The distance of JD is equal to the rate of JD times the time of JD. So now we're going to put in, well, what we know and what we need to find. So they tell us here that JD drove, in the, uh, or the Perry left an hour before JD, okay? And then at the end time happens, well, if it's an hour before and then whatever time JD goes, that means Perry's time we can write in terms of JD. It is one hour plus JD's time, T of JD, and that's the total time that Perry was there, one plus the hour of JD. Now, we want to find Perry's speed, so that just comes down here, and well, we don't know necessarily the distance individually of Perry, okay? So we'll hold off on that for a second. Now let's go with what we know here. They tell us that JD drove in the opposite direction, but going six miles per hour slower than Perry. So JD's rate can be rewritten as the rate of Perry's minus six miles per hour. So six miles per hour slower. And we don't know, well, JD's time yet. All right, so we will leave that there, the time of JD. But one thing they do tell us here, and this is the little kicker here, is that they say that after all of this, there were 174 miles uh, apart. So that means their distance, d of p, plus d of t, is equal to 174. Okay? All right, there's actually one more thing I missed. Let me make sure I catch it here. They said, uh, with uh, JD, right? JD drove the opposite direction going six miles per hour slower than Perry for one hour, after which time they were 174 miles per hour. So JD was only driving for one hour, right here, meaning we can figure that out here, right? This time of JD is just one. So let's, let's simplify what we can. There's DFP here, keep that a little separate. And we have d of j. So let's rewrite what we can, just make it a little simpler. d of Perry is the rate of Perry, and 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay? Well, multiplying this out, d of j is, well, all this times 1, r of p minus 6. So we simplify distance of uh, jd is r of p minus 6. And this is where it gets a little tricky, okay? We can rewrite d of p equal to, if we subtract dt to both sides, d of p is equal to 174 minus j, the distance of, um, oh, d of j, that's a j here, distance of jd. And so we can use that and actually plug it into this equation right here. So instead of d of p, we're going to write that 174 minus d of j is equal to r of p times 2. Okay, well, we also know d of j is equal to rp minus 6. So let's replace that now here. So we have 174 minus rp minus 6 is equal to r sub p of 2, or times 2. So let's, let's rewrite what we can. If we distribute this minus sign, it's plus a negative, and this becomes a positive. 174 plus 6 is 180. We have a minus r sub p is equal to, we can rewrite that to have 2 comes first, makes it easier to see, times r of p. If we add an r sub p to both sides, 
What are we left with? Well, let's go put it right up here. We have 180 is equal to, well, 2 plus 1 is 3, so 3 of R sub P. And now we want to divide 3 to both sides to get R sub P by itself. So R sub P is equal to 180 divided by 3, which is 60 meter units, miles per hour. And so Perry's speed at that time, after all that, was 60 miles per hour. Hope this video was helpful, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. MinuteMathTutor.com